So the paper kicks off, like you said, by acknowledging that big debate. Predictability. Are market returns predictable or not? They even note something interesting from their literature review. Over the last 30 years they looked at, papers finding some predictability actually seem to outnumber the ones saying, you know, nope, it's all random. Huh. That is interesting. It suggests maybe the academic tide leans slightly towards predictable, at least a little yeah. bit. Yeah, or at least that researchers are finding something worth reporting more often. And out of all the things people try, interest rates, economic data, sentiment, this paper focuses on something quite classic. The dividend price ratio, DP ratio, for sure. Exactly, the DP ratio. It's a variable with pretty deep roots in financial theory. Okay, so what is the theory? Why would this ratio predict anything? Well, the thinking here goes back to, like, fundamental valuation and rational models, you know, assuming no crazy bubbles. Which is a big assumption sometimes. Yeah, fair enough. But in theory, the price of an asset like a stock or an index should reflect the present value of all the future cash flows you expect to get from it. Right. Discounted cash flow 101. Pretty much. And for an index like the S&P 500, the main cash flow is the dividends paid out by all those companies in the index. Okay, I think I'm following. So if the market price is really high compared to the dividends being paid out now, meaning the DP ratio is low, mm -hmm. then maybe the market's kind of expensive. And to justify that high price, future returns might need to be, well, lower. Precisely. That's the intuition. And the flip side, too, if the price is low relative to dividends, a high DP ratio, maybe the market is cheap. Okay. And perhaps higher future returns are needed to get things back into balance. It's basically a kind of mean reversion idea. Tied to fundamentals, like the ratio should eventually drift back towards some average level. Exactly. That's the core economic reasoning behind it. Got it. 